So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we are going to be going through the brand new updates that have gone live for Ark Survival Evolved on the PlayStation, PC and the Xbox. There seems to be loads of different updates going live for the game right now and I'm hoping it's because they're preparing to make sure there's going to be like no bugs and stuff for the Lost Island map. There's quite a lot of cool stuff. The Xbox did recently get the big patch as well so I hope you guys do get all the information you need um, in today's video. If you do enjoy it, smash that like button, um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for all the support. But before we get in with the news and the patch notes and stuff, a quick word from today's sponsor. So today I am going to show you one of the most fun mobile games that I have played. I started playing Hero Wars. Hero Wars is an online role-playing action game with a variety of PvP and PvE modes. Here I can fight against powerful bosses and experience the story. The campaign style is so cool, it feels like a classic fantasy game. While completing missions, I can collect loot and upgrade my champions. But the main party happens online. You can create guilds, fight with other players and constantly rise in rank. Join the game now and get a super chest with a secret hero as well as 62 emeralds and 30,000 gold. Hero Wars is available on mobile devices and also runs in a web browser. Scan the QR code or download the game from the link in the description. I'll see you in game, it is a lot of fun. So let's get in with the video now guys, starting off with the PlayStation patch notes with the new update that did go live. So fix the bug where players wouldn't be able to interact with the HLNA in some cases. Fix the bug where players were unable to teleport to other biomes in Genesis part, part 1 and also fixed a server crash. Now I did see a lot of reports on this and this has now been fixed about Genesis part 1. I know there's some server issues going on at the moment but let me know about them in the comment section down below. Now there was the big patch that went live for PlayStation which I'm going to read on the Xbox patch notes as it is now live on there. Let me know how big the patch size was on Xbox 2. I know I'm, I, I want to hear as well. I've seen some of your opinions in other videos on the tech dedicated storage chain but let me know in the comments more of them today as i'm trying to weigh up what the community feels like at the uh, feels about the tech dedicated storage changes at the moment so the pc had some changes as you can see fixed an exploit fixed more multiple exploits fixed a bug where pressing spacebar to bring up the camera list would shrink the ui each time um fixed a bug where weapons on the loadout mannequin would equipped to feet Fix some typos in text strings. Fix server versioning. Um, tech security console camera are now able to be unlinked remotely. Fix servers not showing up when attempted to transfer between servers on the on Stadia. Um, adjusted default Stadia video settings to um, support increased view distance and better texture quality. The following settings can be adjusted in the post processing and view distance. So that was the PC update that did go live. And then we have the big console update for the Xbox, which went live as well, as mentioned, was already on PlayStation. So the refactored tech dedicated storage. This is a rework of the structure for server optimization. I'm sure some of you guys have seen this in the other videos already. It should improve stability across the board due to huge memory savings on large servers slash active servers. It will generally function the same and you can still deposit and withdraw, but there are a few changes to be noted. Now, what I want to also here is if you're someone that has actually seen these changes and you've noticed it and you're giving your opinion at the moment since the patch has gone live what do you think about it do you think that it's something that you could get used to do you think it's something you'd rather change back do you think there's been a uh you know a thing where the servers have improved let me know in the comment section because all of this information is very very useful for the community so obviously these are the few changes that had to be noted You'll now be able to slot cap yourself directly using the transfer all button when using the tech, uh, when using the dedicated storage and it will ignore your weight. You are, you'll no longer see an inventory inside the uh, dedicated storage box when opening it, but don't worry, your items are still there. You'll no longer be uh, be able to popcorn, which is spamming the O key on PC, but on Xbox it's different um, from the uh, dedicated storage directly, but you can now transfer a slot cap into your own inventory and popcorn from there. 
added three buttons through the tech de uh, dedicated storage boxes to withdraw one, five, and ten items. So there are all the changes that you do need to uh, have noted for the new changes in Xbox. This is now live for you. Also, fix the bug where Explorer Notes would not unlock properly on Genesis Part 1 and Genesis Part 2. Any Genesis Part 2 uh, notes can be uh, recollected and Genesis Part 1 notes should be fixed. Um, however, may require you to respawn on Part 1. Fix some bugs uh, where Jap uh, Japanese VO slash subtitles weren't showing. Fix the bug with tech dedicated storage tribe rankings. Fix the bug where wild shadow mains would not use their teleport attack. Fix the bug with the shadow main jump. Fix the bug that prevented items from being repaired in dino inventories that functioned as smithies. Fix the bug where items would lose quality when placed and picked up. Fix the bug where some boss items could not be placed. Fix the bug with HLNA not playing her dialogue. Fix the, um, a bug with some buffs not displaying their correct uh, their icons properly. Sorry. Fix the bug where the raft and motorboat couldn't be used in some water areas of Genesis Part 2. Fix the bug where the tech strider's name uh, was not being used for its bed. Fix the bug where players wouldn't be able to use uh, to build on the um, giant turtles platform. Um, fix the bug where players could lose items on the loadout mannequin when using non-human dermis. Fix the bug which caused players on stegos to die when teleported to a Genesis Part 2 mission. Fix the bug where the strider's bed would be duplicated on the client's map each server restart. Fix the bug where the charge battery would not uh, recharge when in stasis. Um, fix the bug where eggs inside of the incubator would visually disappear when unrendered. Fix the bug that allowed Genesis loot crates to be dropped. Fix the bug where the loadout mannequin would break when using blueprints. Fix the bug where mutagen bulbs would fall through the map. Fix the bug where weapons could sometimes be visible on platforms. Um, fix some localization bugs. Fix some level design related bugs such as holes, floating foliage and incorrect volumes. Fix multiple server exploits. Fix multiple server uh, um, and client crashes and server stalls. Fix multiple bugs with the Noglim related to character slash dino possession. Made some balance tweaks to hunt missions on Genesis Part 2. And remove some redundant options in the Metal Elevator platform multi-use will. So that is the full update that is uh, live now for Ark Survival Evolved on the PlayStation, PC and the Xbox. There probably won't be a patch now for the next one to two weeks. Um, we'll wait and see. Obviously, the main thing I'm hoping is this Friday we get the Community Crunch 286. The last few weeks have been very quiet, mainly just talking about the tech dedicated storage changes. But all we want to hear, Wildcard, is the release date for the Lost Island map. So the hype can start and we can all get excited for the release of this new map. Um, obviously, uh, they said take a look at some community content from the week as we, pre we prep for an action-packed end to the year. Already mentioned to you guys what is going to be coming at the end of the year in the other crunch which came out, um, which I'm sure most of you guys have seen uh, by now already, which is obviously Lost Island, three new creatures, another community vote, extra live event, which will get loads of ARC 2 news and hopefully a release date for, holiday events, and so much more uh, for some, so everyone has something to enjoy this holiday season. It's coming up to October now. So in October, we've got the Fear Evolved event. I'm still hoping that maybe there's a chance Lost Island can come out in October, but that by the looks of it, as we haven't had a, a release date yet, that is looking unlikely, but we'll see. Um, and then later on in, no well, in the beginning of November, we've got the Extra Life event. And then sometime all around the month, Christmas, we'll obviously get the Christmas event and maybe the New Year's one again. It's just, I, I'm actually shocked it's October. This year's going way too fast. But that is going to be the full video. Thank you for watching, guys guys leave a like if you enjoyed and got all the news you need to know subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video very soon see you guys then